What's the most fricked up thing you've heard eavesdropping? The reason my Korean grandma was alive at the time is because she wasn't as pretty as her sister during Japanese occupation. My great aunt is Italian and her village was occupied by Nazi soldiers. She told me her mother would wash her and her sister every 15 days so that the soldiers would find them dirty and not touch them. Back in the 90s you could pick up cordless phone calls with an ordinary scanner from Radio Shack. That's how I found out the guy living one floor below me was dealing in. Also routinely heard people's credit card numbers, sex chats, all that stuff. It was crazy. Ah, for the glory days when everything under the sun was on 800 megahertz. X thought I was sleeping. She went out on the back patio which was under my master bedroom window that was open. I wasn't trying to eavesdrop, but overheard her talking to her friend about how they were both fricking an old man for money and pills. Heard my uncle talking to my grandmother about my father when we were all on vacation. He doesn't even want the kids. He's not going to ask for custody. He just wants to leave. I was 5. In high school overheard a girl saying she's not worried about getting pregnant. She just tells her boyfriends to hold the CM in colon. Yeah hold the cumin. Go straight for the paprika. One time when I was in Las Vegas, I woke up and overheard my dad begging my mom to let him buy a prostitute. I could hear the pain and hurt in my mother's voice. I don't think I'll ever forget that. This one stings. Sorry to your mom and sorry you had to witness that colon. I was in line behind two older women at a restaurant maybe 5-6 years ago. One says hey, did you hear about so and so's son? The other says no, what happened? She replies he ran off and joined ISIS. What was crazy was they seemed so casual about it. Like that wasn't a crazy freaking thing to hear about your friend's son. Well, even if he passed the IFAB, a perfect score on the IFAB merely indicates that one is a candidate for field agent status. I am from a very dangerous country. One night while looking at the stars in my yard, I heard a couple people plotting how to carry out a murder. They were meeting in an empty lot across from my place. I even heard them agree on the plan and then get on their motorcycles to go execute it. In college I overheard this girl talking about how her parents recommended anal to her and that they had an open conversation about it all. Somehow this brought flashbacks of the time my dad told me that a cousin was coming to town, implying I should make a move, when I responded with dude, what the frick, she's my cousin he told me that I wouldn't be the first in the family to hook up with a cousin. Yeah, so a friend of mine got his aunt pregnant, it went like, buddy, are you sure, I mean, mom is going to be pee if she finds out, no no no, I'll go with you. For real, we can't see each other again, wait, no, we can just go away, together, you know, no this it's not wrong, I love you, please don't, from what I can surmise is that his aunt was on her way to get an abortion or something and that she's going to leave, yikes dude. I work nights right next to a bar, the conversation that stuck with me the most was when someone's baby mama found them and started a one sided shouting match outside the window. She said something along the lines of, you've got a million dollars in your bank account and still can't take care of your kids, saw her running and screaming at him as he got in his car and drove off. I was on a notoriously hard hike up a mountain when I passed a group of girls and one of them said to the others I would rather get chlamydia again than do this again. Oh, I've been on that hike. We shared a wall with our neighbor's bathroom. Once morning we heard our kind neighbor crying to his girlfriend because she insisted she never slept with anyone else. He pleaded with her to tell the truth because he had gotten a call back from his doctor telling him he tested positive for genital herpes. He sounded so heartbroken and despaired, but she denied cheating repeatedly. He moved out and we never saw him again shortly after that. There was a young woman in a cafe telling her friend about her new young hot GPA, blue eyes, broad shoulders. So he asked me what's wrong, and I had to tell him I have hemorrhoids. An attractive single friend of my so had to go to hospital for severe constipation and still had the doctor flirting with her. Don't give up hope. My old landlord 70 meters was openly having an affair with his niece 50f in a small town in Ireland. 
apparently the whole town had known for years, including her father, his brother, I still reel at how accepted it was. Was at a bar, went to the bathroom, and passed a woman talking into a payphone. She said the greatest sentence I have ever heard. This was over two decades ago, and I still remember it, clear as day. Yeah, well every dong I suck puts your daughter through college. I have seriously used that as an example of perfect characterization. You learn her whole life story in one sentence. It's brilliant. Holy frick that's such a great sentence by my fricking god that's sad. Overheard a doctor I worked for tell a patient to get a pack of camels and chain smoke the entire thing. He was a pulmonologist, lung doctor, so I had to ask. The patient he was talking to had a cough for 6 months. No treatment was helping. She called the next day, said she coughed up a giant ball of phlegm after all that smoking and her cough was gone. Serial chest x-rays showed no active disease. The doctor said he learned this treatment method in Canada back in the 60s. So that's how I can get rid of my persistent cough. When I was 9 years old, I was sneaking downstairs to the kitchen for a midnight snack and I heard my parents arguing. Heard my father tell my mother that he hated me and wished I had never been born. Didn't get midnight snacks again after that. Ouchie, man. Your dad sounds like an ingrown taint hair. Years ago I walked by a dude on the street, visibly frustrated. He was on his phone talking to either his boss, or a friend, who knows. Comma and then it got all caught in the gears, just torn apart, Jesus Christ blood and guts everywhere, right in front of the kids what a bad day to- No, I didn't clean it up, I was late for my dad's funeral, edit my god this is a heck of a thing to come back to, what in the fruit have I started? Holy frick, sounds like a bad day. On the bus, on a nice sunny day, two seats behind me I hear a guy talking to his phone saying, I shat in her mouth I couldn't help it. You never go butt to mouth. My mill was talking to my wife while I was making food. My sister-in-law, 13 at the time, heard to her mother say yeah I should have just aborted, sill, and saved myself the trouble. I know my mill goes through and it's so. Pam if you read this I hate you. We all hate you and every moment I spend with you is a moment of my life wasted. One day when your other children have all run away, only one left out of six, I'll send you to the worst nursing home I possibly can find. Change your freaking ways before this happens. I too am on the hate that be Pam bandwagon. On the street outside my apartment, I once heard a guy say, if you had sex with an animal, which animal would it be? I'd pick a giraffe. It's not fricked up, just more so funny. I was in a thrift store a few days ago, and there were these two older men in there, talking very loud. One picked something up and kinda yelped and the other guy goes, you must have looked in a mirror. Old people roasting each other is some of the funniest crap ever. It's because by then hopefully they've worked out most of their insecurities, so they try harder and get more creative. Also, the more cards you play, the better you are at insulting people. I was on the bus and I heard a guy talking on the phone with a friend, telling him how his girl beats him. His tone was pretty casual, but it sounded like there was a domestic violence issue happening. The most hilarious thing I heard was two guys talking. And one guy was talking about not being able to wear secondhand pants because someone else's balls been in them. Sweetin and stankin. You had me in the first half. Thought you were talking about a different kind of beating. Then I felt sad. Happened just a couple weeks ago. Was at a water park and a ride. This family comes up to the steps to get in and the kid steps in the water and yells. Kid, ohh this water is colder than a witch's. Smack. Mum smacks him upside the head before he could get the word tit out. I burst out laughing and that mom instantly turned bright red out of embarrassment. Not really fricked up but hilarious regardless and I was the only person in the immediate area that heard it. Was on a business trip to LA and overheard some people laughing about how one of their co-workers dove off a building a few days prior. Plot twist. They were stuntmen. I was sitting in my friend's living room with the window open. We heard a few guys outside smoking not paying attention when the convo gets louder. Bro 1. Bro. Do you remember that time we were nailing that chick? Bro 2. Yeah man balls. Were touching crap. 
was gay I got no regrets. Then bro 1 and bro 2 share a high five. My friends and I still quote this. Pure poetry. It's honestly so profound how two sentences can convey such an intense bond of bromance. I was a cashier in a gift shop at the time, and these two old women came in, they were reading inspirational quotes off a wall near my cash register. Oh I love that. That reminds me of Harold. Oh it does, doesn't it? Things just haven't been the same since he died in that awful lawnmower accident. To this day I wonder WTF that meant. Sounds like things haven't been the same since he died in that awful lawnmower accident. Two customers meet after a long time in my store. Hey I didn't know you got out of jail. Yeah 15 long years. What happened? Oh, you know. Short a couple people. Good on the man for serving his time but I'm still desperately curious who he shot and why. And that's how you assassinate Bill Gates. Literally all I heard from the conversation. It was two high speed bicyclists on a trail in Washington state near Seattle. They were having a very animated conversation and that was all I heard as they whipped around the bend I was walking on. Why am I now awaiting a headline which reads Bill Gates killed by two people wielding a bicycle pump and inner tubing. Serving food to a German family in the UK whose mum and dad were sitting berating the locals for everything under the sun from appearance, attitude, intelligence etc etc. Unbeknownst to them I've got a good grasp of their language. As I was clearing their table I told them in their mother tongue that I hoped they'd enjoyed their meal and wished them a nice evening. Never have I seen such a shade of beetroot red on someone's face. My friend got her wisdom teeth taken out but had a bad reaction to the anesthesia so I was helping take care of her. Her BF. New relationship. Dropped by to check on her with one of his friends I heard them both murmuring in the kitchen wishing I wasn't there so they could have fun with her. I confronted them and screamed for them to leave. She lived in an apartment building. So I know people heard me. They tried to say it was a joke but either it was effed up and scared me. Open plan meeting area. Horrible idea that the company was trying to push to seem more tech corpo like. I'm sat waiting for the chaps I'm there to meet to come out. It's cubicle type sofas facing each other with high backs. You can't see the person in the other cubicle. A manager and an admin proceed to sit in the cubicle behind me, literally less than a foot of fabric away, and discuss how they were going to set up a member of my team to fail, have his duties transferred to the admin, force a pay rise for the admin and then force my guy to quit. In detail, I stood up walked over and sat down in their cubicle. They knew who I was. Both of them bolt for the door as soon as my cheeks hit cushion. Neither of those two worked in any capacity close to my team. They just thought our job was more interesting and wanted a pay rise. No, I need you to go to the clinic with her to make sure she gets the abortion because I don't trust her not to spend the money on a phone instead. We were camping a couple years ago and the sights and tents were pretty close together. In the morning we wake up to a girl yelling babe, babe, your pee on me, your pee on me. We laid there laughing silently and hysterically as we then heard them pack up all their stuff and they were gone before the sun was fully up. Not sure this qualifies but I speak French and when I was about 18 I was walking on the sidewalk near an outdoor pool. A bunch of teens about my age were walking on the sidewalk towards me. All in bikinis. Not wanting to be rude I passed them without checking them out or anything. Then as I passed and kept walking, I heard one say in French he didn't even look at me then the others consoled her and said she's cute hot how dare he. I feel like that experience makes even less sense now than it did then based on what society deems appropriate but it's always in the back of my mind. When I was in high school I went to the junior high for some reason I don't recall. Taking yearbook pictures maybe. Small town. All the schools were on one campus basically. Walked past a couple of girls and heard one say to the other I thought he'd be cute but he wasn't. They were 13 or something so whatever. But it still kinda hurt. Customer at work was talking on his phone so I only heard one side of the conversation. Crabs. No you gave me crabs. Well who else would I have got them from? Needless to say I disinfected the heck out of that spot after he left. It's not really fricked up but a bit sad and very comical. But I could overhear a young Indian couple arguing and the woman was just blasting the guy and listing out all his flaws and all the crap the guy did wrong in the relationship and the guy kept trying to calmly get a word in and said okay but. 
So, many times it started getting funnier the longer it went on. Eventually the guys finally did manage to say something and he said okay but I don't think you are understanding the situation here. You cheated on me so I am actually breaking up this relationship. In fact. So thanks for that and I'm sorry you thought I was inadequate. But luckily. Guy she cheated with. Is 10 times to the power and power of infinity worse than me so at least I can feel good about it. Enjoy. The whole situation, the accent, the tone of this guy's voice, and that final burn had really stuck with me for a long time. I remember his response word for word and I still use modified parts of it to make a crap situation seem less crap to this day. She was only listing his faults because she wanted to feel in control and like she was actually the one ending the relationship. She probably still thinks she's the one who ended it and not him. The amount of times I've overheard stories of past, current, and future bouts of adultery is insurmountable. I've been a bartender at a bar that middle-aged women love for 6 years. I accidentally overheard my parents discussing whether to tell me and my 4 siblings that my dad had 3 children from a relationship he started at 16 over 40 years ago. My parents told us all together the next day. They only told us because the eldest of the three was stuck in cycle of drug addiction and needed help. When on the CTA blue line years ago I remember overhearing this dude in a tinfoil hat talking to a well dressed businessman about how he should try C and that it would change his life. Looking at the dude in the tinfoil hat I'd say probably not for the better. Well dressed businessmen get where they are because of C. I overheard my mom telling this to a friend while she was on the phone, apparently when I was born. My dad said, are you sure there's not a penis on it? I just got back home from spring break, college, and I left the gate open to our driveway because my mom told me that my sister and her wife were coming to pick something up and I was sitting in the office room immediately to the left of the front door as you enter and my sister barged in angry. That I had left the gate open and said he is such a freaking loser can't even close a gate he is just going to stay in this tiny butt town and do nothing with his life. He is just going to be some fattest middle school coach like the rest of them I grew up in a small Texas town that had a huge heroin and poverty problem. She said some other things between her and her wife I just sat silently and didn't move at all after like a minute or two they left back through that same front door and didn't notice me on their way out. I never told anybody in my family I just promised to never forget what she said. Prove them wrong. Standing in line at a gas station, obvious regular customer, female, talking to the cashier in front of me. Me and Billy got a couple beers in us and you know how we start to get crazy. So, then we start smoking crack, and, well, you know how I get. No I don't, and I don't want to. Just let me pay for my gas and Gatorade and get back on the highway. I don't need this. I like imagining this story as her not being a regular. This cashier is just acting casual while listening to a perfect stranger saying this stuff. In a restaurant once, I heard a woman talking loudly on her phone. She was saying she was only marrying her fiancé so she'd have access to his job provided insurance since she had serious medical issues. When I was a little kid, around 11, I was upstairs in bed, and my dad was downstairs talking to my mom. My dad thought I was asleep. But I wasn't. I was listening to him talk, and he was talking about some guy who fingered someone's butt. If you are new to the channel, you can subscribe. I publish new videos every day. Until then, check another video. Bye for now.